Hi there and welcome to a new episode and today is going to be actually a special recording because I'm going to be talking about something that has happened to us a couple of weeks ago and that is that we got certified by the official laboratory of the Alcat Center. Uh, the Alcat Center is a food sensitivity test and you can do your research around it. Uh, there's a ton of research backing the Alcat test up and they don't check for food allergies, they check for food sensitivities. And today I'm gonna go in a kind of an unboxing YouTube video as to what you get when you sign up to an Alcat test and what you can expect and how the procedure works. So without further ado, I'm just gonna dive right into it. So as you see, uh, you kind of get like this package deal. Uh, and inside you get some explanation and you get a box. I'm just gonna put that here. So the box is the most important thing because this is obviously what's it all about. Uh, the second thing, which is all the brochures and, some, and stuff like that, that's, uh, that's, that's a good read. So for instance, here you have this, which pretty much explains in depth uh, how to use it, how it looks like, and so on. As you can see here, uh, in essence, you get a PDF at the end of your test, which takes like a week to do and uh, to test for food sensitivities. And then it shows you from green to red what you're sensitive to the most and what you definitely should be avoiding, uh, which is great because then in essence, you could eat until you're full and still lose weight. Uh, that's how my clients are doing it. That's how I did it. Uh, but because of all of this uh, shortcuts with the Alcat test, you don't have to experiment that much with food anymore because the Alcat test pretty much tests 400 plus foods or something like that uh, and chemicals and everything uh, and that pretty much saves you two, three years of your time just like I did. It took me two, three years to establish kind of an eating pattern that I could eat as much as I want but still lose weight. And then because it was so limited, I still end up eating some kind of cookie just because I want some variety in my diet. So the Alcat test pretty much saves the time for that. Uh, another cool thing is apparently they were voted company of the year from 2016. I didn't know that. Uh, like I said, we just got certified two weeks ago. Uh, so let's dive deeper into the box because that is actually the important stuff. Um, so in essence, this box, you'll be sending it back uh, and Inside what you will find is Well, first of all, you find a UPS bag with uh, Express return and the reason is simple because the Alcat test is a blood test So what you will get is this bag here of uh, four to six vials of blood and I think you also get the needle. Yeah, you can see it here You also get the needle and then obviously you don't go and do it yourself, you go to a doctor and the doctor takes your blood, uh, fills up the vials and then you have uh, 24 to 48 hours uh, to send it back, uh, in this case if you're from Europe, to the Alcat Center in Germany or if you are from uh, the US, then the US and I think they have one more in Thailand that caters for the Asian market uh, but in essence that's what you get, it's this that you put into the box um, and inside you get some instructions to call UPS because obviously UPS is already paid so you just have to call them uh, in the country that you're in and pretty much say hey UPS when can you come pick it up and then you pretty much make sure that the doctor uh, aligns with that date and or UPS aligns with the doctor of course and the main message is Keep it between Monday and Thursday, but preferably between Monday and Wednesday because it takes 24 to 48 hours to arrive and UPS doesn't work during the weekends. So it's best you take your blood between Monday and Wednesday and that way uh, we're sure that it arrives to the laboratory without it being um, yeah, wasted. I, because if it's wasted blood then you can't use it anymore, you can't test it with more efficiency and then you have to do it all over again and you'll have to pay the shipping once again. So in essence here you get the instructions, uh, pretty much what you have to do, uh, which is in essence go to a doctor, they take the blood, you arrange UPS, they send it back and then within a couple of days, uh, my clients have gotten it within a couple of days, 
uh, that the results are back in a PDF format. And then obviously the whole key about this whole ordeal is that you know how to interpret uh, that even though it is very simple and laid out in a PDF with colors, there's still some things that you need to understand as a dietitian uh, when you go into food and food experimentation because it's not because of some PDF that suddenly you can eat a lot of stuff that is on the green side even though it could potentially be that you don't have a sensitivity in that. Uh, then of course you have the laboratory, or laboratory request form so you pretty much fill in what you want. They have all these packages that ranges from actually quite cheap for what it is I think it's like 100, 200, 300 euros or something all the way to the most crazy laboratory test um, that I'm obviously doing tomorrow uh, and then my clients have already done the platinum uh, plus one we've had at this point three or four clients doing it uh, and I know that Alcatraz has been doing it for years now but uh, it is actually the one thing that two of my clients that were diagnosed with chronic diseases this was one of the things that uh, added to obviously there was a lot of tracking going on but that was one of the things that added to the fact that we got them uh, properly diagnosed as to what their deficiencies were but also their sensitivities which ended up giving them that disease that doctors couldn't save so the Alka test is highly advised by me but in combination with tracking because the Alka test alone for me is actually not enough it has to be in combination with tracking your body, knowing what you want, knowing what you need, and over the long term, obviously experimenting, because that's what they say also in Alcat. Uh, it's good for uh, about six months to a year, but then probably if you're experimenting a lot with your diet, you'll have to recheck yourself. Now, like I said, I did have a client that did it four years ago, and he's, do uh, he's done it now. And actually, some of the major components, some of the major deficiencies and sensitivities have stayed the same, and then other stuff have changed uh, over time because he is eating less of them, so there's less sensitivity. Uh, but there are some black and white uh, foods that are just bad for you that you just don't want to eat, even though they're on your green list. And there are some foods that are experimental, like milk, for instance, with some people it works, with some other people it doesn't work, and so on. So that is pretty much the Alcat test and then I wanted to share with you guys one more thing which is uh, one of the books that I've hidden here. So this is what they send me as well. Uh, they don't send this to everybody, they send it to us because we're obviously a studio that helps uh, and, and tries to help people get better. So apparently this book is written by the guy who founded the Alcat test center. Um, your hidden food allergies and how they're making you fat pretty much so check it out it's a good read uh, I'm in the middle of reading it so far it's good obviously they're promoting the Alcat test really well but the reason it's good and the reason I'm recommending it is because there's a ton of research that they're showing that is just opening your eyes to how the industry is working how the lobbyists are working and how the whole food industry how you should be aware of it how you should read into it so because of that i actually am recommending that book i hope you enjoy it the way i'm enjoying it right now and i'll give a short update uh, once my alcat results are done probably in a blog post so make sure to subscribe to the email list and there's a 30-day challenge as well so if you're there i'll update you in the email list what my alcat results were uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to make a video about the Alcat test and what my results were because then it's, it'll be just super long because I'm testing for 400 plus things uh, but I'll make sure to do it in a blog post. So with that being said, I'll see you soon.